To call Melanie Ahern just a filmmaker would be an utter disgrace to her unique presentation. While that specific profession is one that she strives for, and one that I acknowledge as a career that she would excel at, the current creative mind which she uses to the best of her ability is an exploration of the world from her perspective, as shown by her visual works of art. With the help of her friends whose names are Symbolism, Aesthetic, and Obscurity, Melanie weaves original tales that spark a conversation in various ways. While it seems that Melanie isn't set on one specific style, since her mindset is the examination of life, you can tell that a lot of consideration goes into any of her projects. These range from narrated stories, animations, a few skits, and lyrical slash non-lyrical visual representations. Which is to say that Melanie's focus is more on a message rather than a set expectation, as also noted by the quality over quantity premise that is noticeable. What I just said is my representation of Melanie's work. I consider Melanie's videos to be art, in the sense that no matter who you are, you may very well catch a very different meaning than me, which relates to subtlety by being symbolic and obscure. Let this be an exploration of our minds diving into somebody else's presentation. Melanie Ann Ahern's style isn't easy to explain. In some instances, it's straight up wholesome. I'm ridiculous. I do not even know what your problem is. But in others, it feels like Melanie reached into the deepest part of her mind, grabbed the creature that has been most active in her brain, and put it on display for thousands of people to see. This creature can range from loneliness, happiness, emptiness, self-awareness, sadness, anxiety, and the list goes on. It's also difficult because the type of content is different every single time. Her creativity consists of stories which are either narrated or not, have music with lyrics or not with lyrics, stop motion animations using either household objects, or pieces of paper cut into specific shapes, or skits with her brother. Despite the non-consistent content, there's always a common theme. This theme is most prevalent in how to be an explorer of the world. Everything clicked in my mind after seeing those two words. And all of a sudden, every single creative project that Melanie put her hands to finally had a conjoined purpose. The non-existent style that wasn't seen at first was now opened up and beneath the face shone a crystal gem. Perspective. One interesting aspect that I was aware of when it came to Melanie's art is how different people have different perspectives on her projects. An example to be shown is from Sit, the movie trailer. When my eyes experienced this visual media, the only thing that came to mind was, oh, cool, um, this, this is weird, um, this is, a, this, is a, this is a fake trailer. And I personally thought the point was her making fun of how predictable horror movie trailers are nowadays. Once I saw a comment from some random person on the internet, stating his perspective, my mind was completely shattered. It made so much sense. The truth of the matter is, both of us were correct. The artist, Melanie, wanted her viewers to interpret this video in different ways. Hence why she doesn't blatantly state what it's about, which is one of my reasons for calling her creativity art. Symbolism. Whenever I watch a Melanie Ahern video, I can always detect some symbolic meaning from it. More specifically, this is more noticeable in her videos without lyrics or narration, which makes it easier to find. Here are a few instances that I found in my experience, and I hope you find your own. The first is a scene from Happiness Is. Melanie appears to be listening to music, which come to find out is a sad song. This made the gears in my brain start to turn. Can happiness really be a sad song? I mean, I, I guess it could make sense if you're either happy that you're not sad anymore, or the fact of feeling something that you can hold on to in those tough times when it seems that every- The second is a girl sits in a pink bathtub and calls it art. This, in my mind, is a subtle commentary when people call things art that isn't really art, but they call it art because in their defense, art is subjective, meaning it is based on one's personal feelings, tastes, or opinions just like YouTube. <laughs> Finally, the entirety of regular people. This is honestly my favorite video from Melanie and is amazing from beginning to end. It reminds me of the fact that as humans, we all struggle with something and instead of actually dealing with the problem and just being honest with ourselves and those around us, we just bury it deeper within ourselves, making us go through this constant cycle of pain and agony when all we really need to do is let someone know what the actual problem is so we can move on with our lives and possibly have to deal with something else in the future that's either totally related to the previous situation or is completely unrelated. 
This just got too real. YouTube was supposed to be a place to escape all of our demons. Next point! Reputation. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one who thinks Melanie is such a talented creator on this platform. It's very Wes Anderson-esque. She definitely puts her own spin on it and makes it feel really almost like a fairy tale, but then there's like this almost dark edge to it, if that makes sense. I really love it a lot. This one girl, her videos are just like heroin to watch. So I'm pretty like hyped that I was considered to be on a similar level to that. Our good friend Melanie uh, got accepted into this panel here, this wonderful panel. Famous panel. We're gonna make her famous. We're gonna be her biggest fans. So yes, this is a very proud mother moment. This is the first time I have ever considered a small YouTuber to be a gem of the internet. Thank you for making content that is not only original, but also thought-provoking, symbolic, and worth people's time. You are now officially a gem of the internet.